and welcome back to our channel. I wanted to show you quickly today why we filter our water even though we drink rainwater. So here in Australia we are allowed to drink rainwater. There is no regulations against that. I believe that in parts um, of the US that you can't drink rainwater. Um, but here in Australia we are allowed to do it. We don't need any spe special permits or anything like that. Um, as you may know, we've got lots of bushfires happening around us at the moment. Um, we're a couple of hundred kilometers from the closest fire front. Um, and we have been getting some thick smoke um, on and off. We haven't been blanketed like other places have, but we certainly have been getting some very thick smoke. And we've also been getting a lot of rain, which is fantastic um, for the fire front. It is actually getting to the fire grounds which is helping control this massive fire somewhat. Um, but that means that we're getting smoke infused water. Um, we haven't had any ash where we are um, and if you are where you get ash I advise you to divert the rainwater out of your tanks no matter how much you may need to fill it up because it can have fire retardant in it and that stuff is poisonous it was created by Monsanto and, um, and we all know how bad they are. Um, I'm going to show you what my filter looks like after one week, less than one week, I think it's only been half a week since I last cleaned it. Um, we haven't got that much of a smoky smell to our water, actually I don't notice it at all. Um, Paul noticed it on the first rain, um, but that has subsided. Nonetheless, I'm still filtering all our drinking water and our rainwater. Um, so I'm going to show you my filter now and this is why it's so important to filter your rainwater. So here is my filter and it may not look that dirty. I'll try and bob down I'll move my tap. <laughs> but as I start to rub it, you can see all that um, smoky, um, I don't even know what you call that. It's not ash, but it is some sort of um, smoky residue. Um, on my filter. Now, this is a really good filter. This is a Royal Dutton, Dalton, however you say that, fluoride filter. And no, we don't have fluoride in our rainwater. I bought this when we lived in suburbia because I didn't want to be drinking fluoride and chlorine and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's been fantastic. I have replaced this um, mid last year, I believe. So it's due for another um, change. In suburbia, I would have to wash this every week um, and it would have this green slime sludgy stuff on it and that was all the crap that they put in the water basically in town but also just nasties that are in water. Um, in the country where I drink rainwater, um, I wash this maybe once a month and I get very minimal scum on the outside of this. But at the moment, um, we are having smoke infused rain, if that's what you want to call it. Um, and I am washing this once or twice a week and getting this sooty stuff come off it. So I'm going to wash it now and pop it back in my filter to keep filtering my water. Um, I would wash this every time my filter slows down. But yes, it's really important to filter your rainwater if you're living out here in Australia with um, these fires, even though your water may not taste or smell smoky. Um, like I said, we're a couple of hundred kilometers away from the closest fire, the big East Gippsland fire, which has merged with um, the Southern New South Wales fire. And it's not as smoky here as it is in other places. It's on and off, but um, the rain, does bring that down um, into your water tank. So filter your water, <laughs> very important.
just want to say that I know for certain that we haven't got fire retardant in our water tank. We are too far away from the fires this time around, thankfully. But if you do think you've got fire retardant in your water tank, for starters, don't use it for yourself or your animals. It is toxic. Um, but you will be able to see, smell, and taste if you've got fire retardant in there. Not that you should be tasting it, but just in case. It will taste really salty. Obviously, it will be discolored and it will stink. Um, if your water has been affected by fire retardant, you need to stop using it 100%. You need to stop using it straight away and you need to empty it and get your tank professionally cleaned before you refill it. Um, it is really important for your health and for your um, stock's health um, to not be drinking that water. And as hard as that is, because I know we are in a drought and every drop of water is precious. So it's really devastating that um, this water will need to be discarded but um, it is imperative for your health. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.